Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here from Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and I'm not here to sell you a single thing today. Matter of fact, we are here today to talk about tire safety, specifically age of your tires and how that relates to your towing safety. We're going to talk about how you determine the age of your tires, what is safe, and what to look out for. This is especially important, I think, for someone who has an RV and has had one for years, or if you are looking to purchase a pre-owned RV, this is something that's not really well documented. And frankly, if I look myself in the mirror, I feel this is a topic I have covered very poorly. And I've done far too many used RV tours to not have talked about this sooner. I'm drawing a line in the sand. I'm trying to do it better from now on. And if you appreciate the way that we give out this information to try to keep you and your family safe, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment to let us know what we're doing right, or and whatever leave us some comments to let us know what other potential safety type tip information like this would you like us to cover i can't promise to cover everything i'll do my best to fill in the blanks when i can let's get started now there's certainly some very obvious things that i think you want to look for when you're looking at the tires on a used rv uh one of them is first of all do they match like right here we have a goodyear marathon and back here we have a what trail express so a not the same tire basically so there are two different tires on this rv that tells me that at some point for one reason or another a tire has been changed what you really want to do is start examining around the wheel wells then to make sure that there hasn't been a blowout that caused some very serious damage that standing here you can't see but under that skirt line who knows what's under there and when I say I feel like I've kind of failed people, I've been trying to like, I'll, I'll look at a tire, I'll tell you if it's been weather checked or not, I'll tell you if there's good tread left on it, but I haven't really been diving into the age of the tire, which especially on some older RVs is, a, is an important safety factor. And I, I wanna make sure I'm doing better and I wanna make sure you're equipped to be able to shop this stuff. And you can put us to the test. This is true whether you're shopping at Halet RV or not. This is true whether you're buying an RV or not. This applies to horse trailers, vehicles, this is just good sound all around uh, tire safety advice. What you wanna do is find the age code, the DOT code on the tires. Now they're, they're all going to be in a little different place, but it'll say DOT and then a random string of alpha and numeric characters. What you wanna look for are the last four digits. And on this one, it says 13 of 12. So what does that mean? Well, for <laughs> lack of a better way of saying it, that's the tire's birthday. That's the day the Michelin man brought it into the world and cracked it on the backside and made it cry and, and, and said, welcome to, to your new life here. Um, <laughs> it, it means that it was created, it was manufactured in the 13th week of the 12th year after the year 2000, or the 13th week of 2012 is basically what that translates into. So now we know it's birthday. We know how old the tire is. What, what does that matter? Like, how old should we let these things get before we're swapping them out and putting them out to pasture? Well, that is a topic of some debate, but by and large, what you're going to find is the vast majority of people uh, in relation to tire safety feel that if a tire is 10 years or younger, it's okay. Once it hits that 10 year mark, it has effectively aged out. That is when the compounds in the tire itself, that like the sidewalls and things, start to break down and the tire can now fail statistically more easily than when it was younger, effectively. Kind of like us, the older I get, the more a little bit broken down I get. So far I'm doing fine, but you know, I've noticed about every 10 years I get an extra little hitch in my giddy up too. So back to this guy. The tires that, well, the tires that match, not the ones that were replaced, the oldest tires, they were manufactured the 13th week of 2012. At the time of this filming, it's 2021, but what week of the year is it? Because I don't know about you, I don't have an Indiana Jones Mayan calendar hanging on the wall that I'm gonna go start flipping through. No, I'm an elder millennial, I'm going digital with this. You just go to Google and you type, what week of the year is it? And it says, ta-da, it's the 28th week of the year 2021 at the time of this filming. There you go. So if this, if the tires were made today, the date code would be 2821, just to kind of give you a reference point here. So what does that mean? That means that these tires are less than 10 years old, but some of them are starting to get close. So should you replace them? Well, I don't know that you necessarily need to replace them right away. I do think if your intentions were to tow the RV in the future, it would be a very good idea to budget that into your, say like annual upkeep or something for next year. There is an argument to be made where if no, I, I'm gonna, I have a seasonal site. I'm just gonna tow it there and park it and then I'm gonna put tire covers on it. Well, 
you don't really need to change the tires. Theoretically, when it gets pulled off your site, because eventually everything will, then it theoretically should have new tires applied to it. But I understand if someone's like, I'm just, I'm just not that worried about it. I'm not going to be putting a lot of stress on those tires. Okay, that's fair. There's logic to that. But what do you do if you can't find the date code on the tires? Well, I took a stroll through our service lot and I found an RV here uh, for a little bit of work that has a perfect example of why this video can be important for some people. Because if you look at these tires, they look fine. They're not weather checked. The, the tread is not worn out. So at a glance, you're looking at this going, man, yeah, it's older, but oh boy, the tires are real good. But then you look over here, here's the DOT code. And then, like I said, you see some alphanumeric characters and then you see uh, a big black nothing. There's no DOT code right there. There's no age code. What's going on? Well, to, to put it simply, it means they're old. It means those tires are very old. And if your intention is to take them down the highway, you should really get them replaced. So I hope this has been beneficial for you. I hope this has been enlightening. It's really not complicated. It's just something that doesn't seem to be talked about enough. And again, I, I'll acknowledge my blame in that. I put videos like this out. I do RV tours all the time. I have not covered, I have not documented, I have not shared this information as well as I feel I should have. And I can, I can accept that accountability. I want to make sure I'm doing right by folks, not just the folks who do buy here, but I know that so many people who buy all over the place watch our videos. I want you on the road. I want you having a good time. I want you being safe. I want you building fun memories. I don't want you alongside the road, uh, losing your vacation in an unsafe situation, losing control of your trailer or your vehicle because you bought an old vehicle with old tires. Because again, this could just as easily apply to any of those vehicles over there. This is not specifically RV related. This is just general tire knowledge 101 right here. And I hope you appreciate that. If you do, Leave us a couple comments. Like I said, let us know how we're doing for you. Give me some other suggestions or ideas, some things you'd like me to cover. I'll do my best to try to do those if I can. And if you haven't, I would really appreciate it if you took a second to subscribe to this video and maybe share it among something like a Facebook group of your choice because there's a lot of people that I think could really benefit from this information. And again, it's true whether you're buying from us or not. This is just facts, Jack. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun. And happy Halo camping, everyone. Stay safe out there. Drive careful, because <laughs> my friends don't. <laughs>